We have another exciting video for you guys today. We get to pull another couple snake clutches. Um, ball python eggs we got, and uh, so we're gonna show you what those are. And then also, Ryan and I, uh, we met up with John Danner and we took a little harping trip, so make sure you guys stay tuned for this. All right, guys. We're uh, construction zone still. We're almost done. This one. Oh, poo. This is, uh, we have some parts we need to get for the top level still. Uh, they're in the mail and washing the bins out right now. Thank you, Melanie. Mm -hmm. Best bin washer this side of the Mississippi. Yeah. You made me put the rack together with you too. Let's talk about that for a second. <laughs> you are the best rack builder this side of the Mississippi. But we got a clutch. We got a clutch. We got a clutch. We got a clutch. So pause and all that. We're all beat here. We've been working hard, but we got to pull some eggs. So here we got our fire girl that we paired with our Enchi Inferno male. And she was huge and she looks like she's on a huge pile of eggs. So that's exciting. So we're gonna get those taken care of. Before we do it, in the comments, who wants to guess how many eggs she's on? Don't cheat. All right, here we go. Take her out of here. Wow, look at that. Nice big clutch of eggs. Mom looks real empty. So we're gonna have to sneak over here, and put her in a bin. It's not an ideal situation, guys. We're gonna get it together though. Just wait. Let's count them up. Two, four, six, eight, ten eggs. That is a nice clutch. They all look to be uh, healthy. We'll candle them just to make sure, but look at that. Perfect. Don't have to do take any of them apart. They're not too high up. So that's cool. Uh, we have these bins already set up in the incubator. We'll press and seal action. Won't be stingy with the press and seal. Like me right now, too stingy with the press and seal. Seriously, I don't know why you guys don't just measure it over top of the bin and then cut it at the edge. Oh, well, like I did just <laughs> that. I pulled like it out. I kind of looked at it. I don't know. Every time you have me film, <laughs> the same thing happens. Listen, I know you're a pro at this. So I'm just trying to learn. <laughs> One day I'll be a pro like you. Right Looks now, like you got it, babe. You got it. Right now I'm still in training. Perfect. That's it. It's a way to be frugal. I'm proud of you. Good job. Enchi Inferno to fire. It's going to be awesome. Looking to cut this guy on 814. No, 84. Sorry. 84. So that's clutch. See, ball python clutch. One, two, three, four. Clutch five with ball pythons for the season. About time we started getting some ball python clutches. Put this in here to bake at 350 for two hours. No, no, no. 89 degrees for 60 days. That's better. We'll get this all cleaned up. We just thought of a really funny April Fool's joke. <laughs> no, we don't do that. None of that here. That's the update, guys. This is a midweek thing. Ben's not here. Lovely uh, wife, Vanna. Vanna White. Okay, I'm gonna fall over the Freaking rack. her out by putting the snake too close to her. It's so, the camera screen is really much smaller than real life, and so it's like objects may appear closer than they actually are. You know, like in the car mirror. Although I think it's the other way around. Maybe All right, guys. 
catch you actually I'm gonna catch you tomorrow but you're not gonna see it until Tuesday but got a little herping trip coming up it's gonna be good all right so this clutch that I'm gonna pull right now is a GHI Arroyo Fire to a GHI so I'm gonna show you the the father real quick and or the sire as they call them so this is a GHI Fire Arroyo someone or this is a male that we produced and uh, he's bred uh, a few ladies but we're really excited about this clutch because super GHI Arroyo Fires um, never been made I'm sure and we're just like super excited about it I know I say super excited but it is we are I am so let me pull that clutch and I'll show you guys what we got going on here look how well she is wrapped up look at her she's beautiful she's a GHI we did produce her as well um, man she really cleared everything out so I'm going to uh, slowly rip her off of her eggs here and uh, all right is this I think this is her first year yep all right she's very huffy and what Ryan has taught me is to make sure that you get the tail off of let me seem a little nervous I don't want to uh, make any eggs get messed up Grab at the very end of the dog when it's hooked in. There we go. Oh, and there's a little tiny slug there. So then I'm just gonna feel down her belly real quick. Yep, and she's empty. So I will uh, put her off to the side here and um, pull One this clutch. Egg is humongous. The egg is huge. Hopefully it's twins. That'd be awesome. And then there's a tiny, tiny little slug egg. <laughs> So, all right, let me, uh, let's put her into this bin over here. Super GHI Royal Fires. Uh, you know that we love Royals here and we have four good eggs looking like, um, and then this little tiny slug this egg. Tiny slug. Wow. It's really tiny. I wonder what it tastes like. Anyway, um, so I'm gonna candle these and we're gonna get them set up. And as you guys can see here, what we like to do is we make sure that we have the bin set up and all ready to go. Now this clutch of eggs here is all stuck together and uh, we like to leave them the way that they are the best that we can and this seems to be easy enough. This one I might need to lift a little bit so I'm gonna candle them and make sure that the embryos are and the bubble is up top and then uh, put some press and seal on we'll put it in the incubator we mark this off here so 60 days is August 8th, right? 16th. Huh? 15th. That's the cut date. Oh, the cut date is the 8th. Um, and so the 15th is the 60 days. So we're really excited about this one and we'll uh, update you guys when it's time to cut those open to get our Christmas presents out of those because, man, I hope that that's a twin. That'd be awesome. Okay. So thanks. Hey guys. We're here in the middle of nowhere. We got JD over here <laughs> trying to find us some rattlers. He's not even moving. Okay, he's moving now. Couple little uh, frogs there. They're all in this hike, right? Woo! It's cool. That's a fence. Kick up. Oh. <laughs> it's running around. There he is. He's a mute. Oh. 
Try to take the shot. All right. So the herping trip didn't go exactly how we planned it, you know, you don't always catch, you know, what you're looking for, but it was an exciting day. It was fun. We got to really take a good walk through nature and uh, see the Pine Barren. So that was cool. Um, thank you so much to John for hanging out with us. And uh, thank you guys for, for watching and coming along and we're really excited about these clutches that we got going. So stay tuned and make sure you guys watch the updates on those. And if you could, please, Hit that subscribe button and uh, give us a comment down below. Let us know the things that you want us to, to do or see or maybe somebody we need to visit or talk to. Um, also hit that notification bell and uh, it'll let you know when we have new videos. Thank you so much and we'll see you on the next one. Two, four, six, eight, ten eggs. Nice. It is a nice clutch. Wait, go back and do that part again. I was talking over you too for a second. How do you like, you do like a... <laughs> ben knows what he's doing. Um, looking for my present seal that I lost. It's over here. Well, that doesn't make sense, but all the way over here. Well, that's what happens when you lose things. They don't end up where they're supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> Found a fly into my throat.